To quote one of my favorite country songs by Tracy Lawrence, time marches on. The only thing that stays the same is that everything changes. Kaka'ako has been changing for the last decade and it'll continue to change for years to come. Now, as we've helped many sellers and buyers in this community, including myself, I was once a seller and a buyer here in Kaka'ako, you can count on us to bring you the latest and greatest updates and information. Today, welcome to the 11th building in the Ward Village Master Plan, the Lao Niu. In this video, we'll take you through 10 things you need to know about the Lao Niu, including the size of the units, the views, the location, the floor plans, and the amenities, etc. At the end, we'll also talk about some of the new things that are coming to Kaka'ako. I feel like I'm in this community every single day. In the last month, I just closed on a listing at Ko'olani, just accepted a contract at my listing at Hokua, represented buyers at Aali'i, and prepping for future listings as well. And of course, I just love coming to Kaka'ako to enjoy the coffee and the the food and the lifestyle myself. Number one, the meaning of Lao Niu. Lao Niu means coconut grove, which is inspired by the beautiful coconut grove that surrounded Victoria Ward's residence here in Kaka'ako, known as Old Plantation. Now, the undulated design of the building is inspired by the swaying of coconut fronds. As you can see here, Ko'ula has a very similar design. Now, Victoria Ward was born to a very prominent, actually one of the most prominent Hawaii businessmen known as James Robinson, and he married her Hawaiian mother, Kaiki Lani. Victoria later married C.P. Ward out of Kentucky and together they acquired a hundred acres of land here in Kaka'ako. Howard Hughes likes to incorporate elements of Victoria Ward's life into its buildings, thus the reason for the name Victoria Place, which is the neighboring luxury front row tower that is sold out well underway and ready for occupancy in 2024. Number two, Lanai's are back. Now, a lot of the Ward Village buildings went away from Lanai's, emphasizing amenities. But with the position of this building and the diamond head views, now there are Lanai's that will allow you to take in the views of this very iconic and coveted uh, landmark, as well as the Friday night fireworks. Now, it's important to note that only the units along the southeast side of the building with the diamond head views are gonna come with Lanai's. So you can imagine those are gonna be in high demand and they're also going to have the highest price. Prices. Number three, the location. The Lao Niu will be located on the northwest corner of Ala Moana Boulevard and Ward Avenue. Now, due to the curvature of the street, this building's going to be pitched out. So unlike Waiea, Victoria Place, and Kalai, you're going to have optimal views of Diamond Head and actually more units that have the views of Diamond Head. You're also going to be able to enjoy the retail space that's being built behind here, as well as your own commercial space in the building. the finishes. Now the inspiration for the finishes and the landscaping are said to come from the Gold Coast in Waikiki. The Gold Coast is located on the Diamond Head end of Waikiki. It is the front row and it's the only front row area of Waikiki that offers residential living. Now think Hawaii Five-0 in the 60s and 70s or maybe some Magnum PI in the 80s and those scenes that showed elegant and uh, minimalist old Hawaii types of scenes. That's what you can expect at the Lao Niu. Now, of course, it's not the type of property where you're gonna open your lanai door and hear crashing waves. Although this is front row, it's not necessarily ocean front living, but unlike the Gold Coast, you're also not going to have to deal with the impacts of the ocean air or the maintenance of a building that's over 60 years old. Amenities will be sure to impress. Howard Hughes always does such a great job with the amenities in their buildings. The amenity deck will be located on the seventh floor. It's gonna feature cabanas and a full lap pool, as well as a water feature where you can just kind of lounge and talk story rather than actually go swimming. There's also going to be something new called the hydrotherapy spa. We're excited to learn more about this as we don't really know what it is, but as renderings come about for this 78,000 square foot recreation deck, we'll be sure to share those with you. Number six, floor plans. This stunning building is gonna offer studios that start around 500 square feet. It's gonna have one bedrooms that are around 800 square feet, two bedrooms that range from about 1,200 square feet to 1,500 
square feet and three bedrooms that go all the way up and over 1,600 square feet. Now these three bedrooms are going to be located in the premium Diamond Head Oceanfront stack that's also corner units. Pricing. Now for more detailed information on pricing, please make sure you get in touch with us because we want to make sure we're sharing the information with you that you want and that's in line with your lifestyle and your budget and your goals. But just to give you an idea, the studios are said to be starting in the $1,000 range. Two bedrooms are going to be about $1 million. That's for those that may or may not have a diamond head view up to dollars and your three bedrooms can go up to and over now, if I'm getting bleeped out in this video, it's because we want to be respectful of our partners over at Howard Hughes Ward Village and also because we don't quite have the authority to share the prices with you. But we are happy to share those prices with you when we do have the authority and when we have a personal conversation with you. So make sure you get in touch with us sooner than later. Number eight, here's what intrigues us the most, and it's the studios. Now, there's going to be 90 studio units. Many of them are going to be in the podium part of the building, which is floors two through six. But what other building offers studios that actually come with views? Nonetheless, diamond head views. And these studios are so big. I mean, considering the average one bedroom in Honolulu ranges from like 500 to 600 square feet, these are pretty cool. Now, there's also going to be studios on the EVA or the sunset side of the tower sprinkled throughout. Out, but we think these studios, especially in the podium uh, side, are really great investments. Now, who buys a studio? Well, maybe somebody who wants a second home, a crash pad, a place for remote work, a place to share with like business clients and colleagues, or even somebody that wants to live there full time. Because again, these studios are going to be big and they're starting at bleep pricing. Now, just to give you some context, there were two studios that sold this month for $760,000 and $780,000 in Anaha. This is an older building. It's on the second row, so you don't have any ocean view, diamond head view, uh, and they're smaller. So we really think these studios are pretty exciting. Number nine, the Lao Niu will have great proximity to salt. Now, you'll still get to enjoy the benefits of living the high luxury lifestyle of the Ward Village neighborhood, but you're going to be closer to this area, which is more diverse, more trendy, more artsy, a little bit more laid back and casual. We really love that you'll be able to experience the best of both worlds. And finally, number 10, where do you start? It starts with getting in touch with us. We would love to either take you on a tour of the Ward Village sales gallery, or we'd love to schedule a presentation with you over Zoom. Now, sales don't officially start until January of 2024, with occupancy starting in 2027, but we need to make sure that we chat sooner so that we can make sure that we're getting you on the list, getting you all the information that you want and desire, and make sure that you get a unit if there's something in there that you would love to have. Now, as a bonus, here's what else is happening here in Ward Village and Kaka'ako. Block d &E have secured their permits. Now, we refer to them as Block d &E. These are the crown jewel in the Ward Village Master Plan, two very high luxury buildings that are coming along the front row, the last two buildings. We don't know if those are going to come before or after Mahana. Mahana is a more entry level product that's gonna come behind the park at Ward. Also, there's rumors of boutique buildings that are gonna be on par with Kobayashi's Park Lane. So stay close to us for more news on what's happening in Ward Village. As it gets released, we wanna make sure that we get it out to you. Check out our blog at dwellhawaii.com and of course get in touch with us so that we can custom tailor our communication to you based on your goals your lifestyle and your budget